All right, wonderful people. <clears throat> All right, great people, wonderful people. Welcome once again today. Today is another day, great people. And I'm here to do what I know how to do best. I will keep on complaining. At the same time, I will keep on explaining. That is why I'm here. You see, Mazen Namdekano issue. We can never abandon him. I swear, we can never. Let me use this opportunity to check other of my platform if I'm already there so that I will proceed. Like I promised my people, I told you people that I'm going to come today. What I'm going to do today, it will shock every one of you. I don't call it a position because I'm not in that lane. I mean to come here telling you exposition. I am coming here, you know, to face reality. As you are joining me, please don't hesitate to go to my article. You will see what I put there. I'm going to connect the dot today. I want you people to know those people that uh i mean they advising this epidemic in finland i will tell you who they are at the same time i want you people to understand you see those people that are following epidemic they are those that hated on mazen namdekano they don't like mazen namdekano and i'm going to prove it beyond reasonable doubt i come with video proof not a kana kofusiako kong no um let me check my gadget please as you are coming make sure you distribute this video it's very very important that you distribute it <clears throat> you let people understand and i want you people to know that my second name or my new name now is explainer that is my new name explainer and i will keep on explaining I will keep on guiding our people and I will keep on telling them what is about to come so that when it will get to their doorsteps, their doorsteps, they won't said that nobody ever told them something like this before. Join, join, join and pay very big attentively and listen and listen very, very careful. You will understand everything that I'm going to say today. I'm going to prove it. A lot of people are they are living a bilima. The mess on the ground, those people that a bilima have confused, they are now living them. And uh, you see, there is something that I showed my people yesterday. But uh, let me first check my uh, my platform, please. Very very important. Very very important. We are there. We are there. Uh, we are there. We are there. We are there. I want you people to know that the Bia franchise don't watch like a mazo okay now okay chuku. I am not joking. And I will never joke. I will never joke with you people. I am here to tell you people what it is and where we stand. Uh let me see people that are here. Okay, okay. Emanelo Emanelo Nwa Okikeshi Godson. Uh this one, what did you say? You think I'm coming here to listen to all you see? Um let me proceed because I don't want to waste time. I have to introduce myself and I have to tell you people what I put the caption so that uh, when these things will be coming you will understand let me also see if my voice is coming out clear coming. yeah yeah my voice is coming clear my voice is coming clear my voice is coming clear of course i don't lie about it 
Now I said that you should join the Bia franchise in watching like a Mazo Kinna Okechuku, known as the Bia franchise. I am here to connect the dots. I want you people to know that ectoparasite, autopilot, infiltrator, they are scripted. And there is some people that are giving them the script to play. And I will prove it beyond reasonable doubt that uh, the Abazonian people, they are part of those that are, I mean, advising Ibirima. I received a message, a video of Capo Daniel, his latest video. A man that I brought to Biafran television when things were so hot, I asked him a lot of questions about our one million march in Belgium. When Ebelima, we are telling our people that we, we want to poison some of our people in Belgium. And I want you people to listen though, because I'm going to play video. After the video, I'm going to also bring out a voice note of the men on the ground. Those people that Simon ever brainwashed. At the end, they understand what is playing. Now, we are going to connect the dots from the latest video of Capo Daniel and the men on the ground. Because now, as it stands today now, uh, the show Ayaba and his second in command, they have forgetting about Mazen Namdekano. But there is something that you people have to understand on this question of self-determination. Don't wait for anybody. Don't think that anybody can help you. You know the reason why? And this is how it is. This is freedom fighting. And what these people are doing, they are free to do whatever they want to do. The Abazonian people, they can form alliance with anybody. It does not matter. I am not having a problem for them to, you know, forget about us and go and join Ibirima. There is nothing about, there is no bad thing about it. We are in freedom fighting. That is why sometimes when I listen to Mazi Jonathan, Mazi Jonathan is, uh, is, a, is a great teacher. He teaches a lot. And uh, when you pay very big attentively, you will understand everything that is preaching. Mazi Jonathan will tell you, forget about your differences. If you know that you can grab this opportunity, grab it. Grab it. It does not matter. Negotiate on your own. Don't let their enemy be your own enemy. No. Don't allow it to happen. Don't let them don't let them use you for you to think that their enemy should be your enemy. No, that is why you see I has no problem with this Abazonia people or Shuayaba. They you know it's a free word, you can choose what you feel like. It my left after Mazen Namdekano. I want you people to know because I'm going to show you people. You know, some of you are asking me. Those that are killing our people in Biafra land, who are they? You are going to see the video. They have caught some of them. And you will listen to the voice of the man who he called that sent them to begin to snatch cars, motorbikes from our people. So what is happening today now is that uh, Abazonia people, they are now, you know, they are seeing a Berima as a leader but that is none of my business that is why you see in this struggle we also have to know the people that we are working with are they genuine or are they money beggars because you see in this struggle there is something that i begin to understand and uh, you see let me introduce myself before uh, and uh, my last uh, article here is that uh, some men on the ground have understand who Eberima is and they have left them and they have left them we must support Mazen Namdi Okuchukukano 
regardless we can never about you see and i want to ask you people question you people now do you think that we are going to abandon mazen namdekane in prison is it what you are thinking listen to me i want you people to understand something let me introduce myself because i don't want to waste time at least i'm going to use at least maybe one hour 30 minutes on this broadcast because we are going to listen at least one video from uh capo daniel this is the latest video from capo daniel this is a man that i interviewed and i know i i i remember all the whole things that this man told me about how it we are coming from back door trying to you know use them that he is the one in charge but capo daniel told me by then that uh, of course they know who we are they know the leadership and they can never joke with this leadership but today things have changed but never you lose hope don't lose hope our pattern of freedom is different and i want you people to understand this all right wonderful people freedom fighters lovers of freedom great people all over the world you are welcome once again on biafran television channel one slash ipob rapture media under the leadership of Mazin Namdi Okuchukukano. Here I am. I always set the record straight. Regardless of your position, your wealth, or whosoever you may be, we don't care. We are coming to set the record straight. I am here today to connect the dots. We are going to connect it. Okay? And we don't believe in political correctness. We say things the way it is. It may favor you you may like it you may argue also on that but your argument has nothing it holds no water your argument holds no water you see everything that is happening today all those people you see they are supporting Epirima. they are those that hated on mazen namdekano they want all these things that mazen namdekano have built for all these years they want it to just vanish overnight but little did they know we are here I got you no more we are here they like let them do whatever they feel like Mazin nam de okuchuku kanu because i want you people to know my stand Mazin nam de okuchuku kanu is the leader of indigenous people of biafra the director of radio biafra slash biafran television channel one to channel four mazin namdekano is the highest commander on this biafran restoration project and the highest authority of course i always make this known to you all as it stands today there is nothing you can do about it mazi shike dozium is the one in charge and every directive from him goes every word that come out from his mouth is authentic and i believe in this leadership i am mazo kenina okechuku known as the biafran child wachineke their general of course i am from ihala in anambra anambra in biafra land i am a member of ipob in this ipob is where we are going to die i will die with them ipob we are going nowhere and the Muslim nam the canon must be protected that is why we're here if you like go and join every force in this world we must protect Muslim nam the canon now let me give you people preamble about what i'm about to show you people because i'm going to analyze it one after the other before i will begin to connect the dots the Amazonian people they came because they know that we have the number we have the number i know the number we are more than 70 something million of people in biafra land that is why you see when mazen namdekano launched let us bring it out let us bring it out and see what mazen namdekano told these people because what we are saying or what we are doing there is no how you can ever stop it 
But now let us listen to the voice of Mazen Namdekano. He said, we are going to destroy Nigeria with the truth. And some of you that are telling Mazen Namdekano to go into armed struggle. Mazen Namdekano being a very, very special species, he understand they have murdered our people. They have killed and maimed our people from 1945. Mazen Namdekano so much hate blood. He don't want them to kill our people again. That is why he was going for a peaceful so that we can be able to, you know, go for referendum. You people have forgotten that in 1967 to 1970, they killed, they made more than 10 million people. Listen, you see, let me people tell you people something. You know, sometimes you people thinking that all this propaganda and lies they are bringing to us, telling us that they, they killed 2 point something million. That is exactly what they recorded by then. They don't want to hide the, the numbers. We know that they killed more than 10 millions of Biafrans during 1967 to 1970. Go and make your research and you will understand. They are just lying to us, telling us uh, 2.5, so I'm saying 3 million. It's a lie. More than 10 million. Okay, let me put it. 10 million of our people were killed during that genocidal war against great people of Biafra. Mazen Namdekan don't want such a thing to happen again. That is why we can never go in armed struggle. Now we understand. If we want to go in a full blow war, that is different. Let us listen to Mazen Namdekan. Let us see what he told them. Because some of you don't understand all of you that hated or mazin namdekano he can never be well with you people you people just want to tarnish the image of mazin namdekano let us hear what he said mazin namdekano before i begin what our enemies do it doesn't matter what they are trying to do it doesn't matter what their motives are it doesn't matter what they intend to accomplish one thing is inescapable this very gospel must be preached uncompromisingly uncompromisingly i will preach the truth the whole truth and nothing but the truth you may not like it you may not be comfortable with it, but Elohim has given me a message. And that very gospel I must pray. We love you. We love you. We must pray. We need to pray. And nobody can ever tell us to abandon him. It's a lie. On this very evening, the commencement of our fasting and our prayers all over the world, in remembrance of those that die that we may live, we ask for your everlasting mercy and abiding love on we who are the living. We ask Elohim for the safe repose of the souls of those that have departed in the cause of restoring the Africa. You see? That very talent class of 67 to 1970. Very brave men, fearless, who for their sake, who for their gallantry, who for their bravery, we are still able to call upon your name today in truth and every other. Just one minute, let me clean the, the face a little bit. Let me clean this face, you know. It's okay, my people. I want it to be clear. I want it to be clear. That die, that we may live. We ask for your everlasting mercy and abiding love on we who are the living. We ask Elohim for the safe repose of the souls of those that have departed in the cause of restoring the Afra. That very talent class of 67 to 1970, very brave men, fearless, 
rule for their sake, rule for their gallantry, rule for their bravery. We are still able to call upon your name today in truth and every honesty. For without those men and women and their sacrifices, the Janja wheel would have overrun your nation. Today we would have been speaking another language, another tongue. Today we would have been worshipping an idol from where we do not know. But out of the abundance of your kindness and your mercy, you remembered your promise to your children. You made us safe. Though we lost over five million, you preserved those who today all over the world is a shining beacon of excellence. Those who epitomize the very finest tradition of ingenuity in a black man, they are dear friends all over the world and we are grateful for your mercy upon our lives. That is why when we say we love thee, with all our heart and all our mind, that we submit to your glory, that we bow before your throne of grace in heaven, when we say there is no other apart from thee, when we say that you are the creator of all that is made, but nothing made you, when we say you are the beginning and the end, when we say you are the Alpha and the Omega, when we say you are the only entity, that gives life and gives grace in the lives of those that believe in thee. When we proclaim the coming of Biafra, predicated upon your promise to restore light upon the lives of those who have been darkened out of their own iniquity and foolishness, we have returned to thee because you are Elohim. Adonai, El Shaddai. You are our rock and our fortress. You are our deliverer. We give over the land of Biafra into your care because Biafra is being restored. That your name may be... All right, Onyendu. All right, Onyendu. Come back here also. Now, I hope you people listen to Onyendu. We are going to destroy the zoo with the truth. We don't have guns and bullets, but only the, with the truth. Every of the effort of Onendu is what Iberima want to destroy. And you see people that are joining Simon Iberima today, they are the haters of Mazin Namde Okuchukukano. These people couldn't believe that Mazin Namde Kano can get to this level he is today. After Mazin Namde Kano launched the ESN Eastern Security Network, that are protecting our bushes, our farm, our forest against invaders from the Fulani Futajelon. All of them gather together to, to kill Onyendu. But I something I want you people to understand. Some of you that are saying he's a good guy. I know it will take you people time to understand what this guy is doing. That is why I have made myself available to keep on explaining. Like I said, my second name now is I'm going to explain tire. You can write it there. You can call it as my name. It does not matter. But now the video that I want us to see now is a latest video of Capo Daniel. The video, you are going to listen to it. Everything that the man says there was in a sense that we should forget about Mazin Namdekano in DSS dungeon. But they don't know that Mazin Namdekano is the genesis of this struggle that we are into today. That have, you know, given us a lot of victory. Because of Mazin Namdekano, they talk about Biafra restoration in the European Parliament. Because of Mazin Namdekano, they talk about Biafra restoration project in United Nations. Now, a man that fought for all these things were kidnapped. And the advice you are giving us is for us to abandon him because you think that your own man that started Abazonian freedom fighting is in prison. We want you people to understand that 
we are different i mean our our i mean our the way we want to get our own freedom is different from what you are thinking probably in abazonia they never massacred people they never destroyed people they never caused genocide against the people of abazonia but we we have saw a lot of bloods and we don't want such a thing to happen to our people again we don't want people to just be killing our people we don't want to make a way for Fulanese to enter our land to begin to kill our people because as they are killing our people today nobody is ready to help us you are calling international community that is your own problem you are calling the police of nigeria that is your own problem you are calling the army the army is coming also to help them to kill you more so that is why we want to go in a form that we are going today till we we'll get there till this awareness we get to every community okay but now let us begin to analyze after we play this video i want you people now to begin to tell me after i will play the capo daniel a man that i interviewed that was a year ago even though by then a was running through backyard to enter these people by then these people believe on us but when they started telling us to abandon mazen namdekano to forget about mazen namdekano that we should continue a man that lost his parent in this struggle he's now in dss dungeon you are telling us that we should move ahead we shouldn't listen to him we shouldn't communicate with him we shouldn't call he, him our leader we shouldn't take any directive from him the way you take your leader in abazonia is not the way we take mazen namdekano in biafra land no they are different mazen namdekano is the genesis mazen namdekano have brought a lot of progress in this struggle that we are Mazen Namdekano is the one that set Eastern Security Network that we have over 100,000 saluting Mazen Namdekano at the same day. We have over 200,000, you know, reserved. Everybody saw it and I'm going to show it here. Then you see it, Koro Koro. Now, let me play this video before we go so that you will see and understand. I have to take the video from my Twitter. What man said Nam the Kano told this place. Oh yeah. They have seen us doing it. Oh yeah. Which one again is the Afrana Army marching? From where? How many people? The day I will bring out the Defran Army, we number over two hundred thousand standing. Reserve is over a billion. Some bunch of idiots somewhere because you are serving your friendly danger with masters. We will get hold of all of you. Take a bullet or come. We know they're bad eggs when we see them. Yes. I don't know. I don't know why. I don't know. My 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 view here is too bright. My view here is too bright that uh, I don't know why I couldn't see this thing too much. I think I'm using too much light. I don't know. Because I could not bring it in. But now. And I know that every one of you have uh, saw this video. You saw the men's on the ground i mean the reserve those people that bend their head down even though the abazonia people they couldn't believe that the zoo by themselves they could not believe that mazen nam the can assembly people like just organize them nobody knows just sudden boom they begin to talk about mazen nam the can they are now begin to know this a powerful man they brought this idiot to call Simon Eberima. They brought him. And they really get Mazen Namdekano because they did everything they could to be able to get through Mazen Namdekano. That is why they projected the idiot to go and make alliance with Abazonia. After they kidnapped Onendu, they, let me play the voice of the man first again before I will begin to play the new voice. What he told me, what he told me and when he told me that i could not uh, i could not take it no no i think uh, we, ha we have to go for the the men uh, the men this thing because they have uh, people have listened to that one yesterday here here is the video here is the video 
I want you people to pay attention. This is uh, now why this thing is uh, why is like a, I think I have too much light. I have to off some light for me to show this thing because I want it to be clear. Let me offer these two lights first. I will on it back. I will on the light back so that I can. I want to see. I want to see. I want people to see this thing very well. I think it's better now. Uh -huh, I think it's better like this. Okay. Let us get to there. Let us get there. No, I think I have to own my light. It does not matter. I mean, why should I show his face? Let me be clear, my people. I want to be clear. I don't care. <clears throat> people can also, they can, yeah, they can see the face a little bit. It's Capo Daniel. Capo Daniel is the second in command to show Ayaba. Okay, we are going to listen to him. It's a little bit long video, but we are going to be playing it like five five minutes. Then we explain. Five minutes we connect the dot. Five minutes we connect the dot. You will hear what this man is talking about. And as you can see, at the same time they put Mars in Nam the Kano, and uh, and uh, their their leader that is in the in in prison. Now they begin to put show Ayaba and Simon Eba as the new leader. I don't know, maybe you people understand what is playing here as they, they concocted this story here. Like a man's in Nam Dekano and their leader now is in prison. And the show Ayaba and Simon Eba is the new one to take over. This is the game that these people are planning. But I'm telling them you can never work with for them. We are here. We are here. You see all this declaimer that Simon Eber is doing today is from there. They are those people that are telling him, claim it. Take it. Say that you are the one that massacring, killing people. In the name that you want to take over Mazen Namdekano. And those people there, they are supporting you. To now, that is when you, you, you people saw Iberima saying that we are not going to take any message from a man in DSS dungeon. This is what they were telling Simon Epp. After I did that video that I did with uh, Capo Daniel, I asked Capo Daniel a question, and I'm going to play it. But now let us listen to Capo Daniel now. You see how they are using our leader to do here. Yeah? Tuku ga on Greetings, Ayaba. Greetings, everybody. We are listening. Uh, welcome once again. Mm -hmm. This is Capo Daniel. Are you listening? The chairman of the Ambazonian People's Rights Advocates Platform. Okay. And the commander in chief of the Ambazonian Dark Forces. These are guerrilla fighters who work in the shadow to fight against the Cameroon repressive regime that have taken hold of our country. It's a lie. I want to greet everybody from These people are not fighters. and Ambazonia at home and abroad. And are those who are incarcerated, I want to greet you as well. Yeah, As you can fight. imagine, I have had tremendous pressure to make a statement from the Biafran side in particular uh, after what happened in, uh, in Finland yes. where uh, our patriot and, and very good friend uh, Mr. Simon Ipa invited Dr. Chua Yaba to have uh, a very big uh, presentation. Just listen, and, uh, listen, listen. They have made Simon Ipa by leader. Biafra, especially the staunch supporters of uh, Mazi Namdi Kanu to come and make a statement because since the alliance between the IPOB and the EGOC was put in place to unite the people of Ambazonia and Biafra, I have been the main person who have championed this alliance. I'm also the most credible and the most listened Ambazonian activist and leader right now. So a lot of people want to hear what I have to say about this meeting that have taken place in Oslo between uh, Simon Ipa and uh, Dr. Joe Ayaba. Dr. Joe Ayaba was invited by Simon Ipa for this very big event. And uh, as you know, I have stayed away a little bit from the Biafran struggle. I've been making less and less comment because the environment, social media environment in the Biafran struggle is very toxic at the moment and it is almost the same thing in the Ambazonian struggle but these are challenges that we must overcome and in this meeting where you had these two leaders met they are making it a was list. a very big and successful event 
Listen. I think for both leaders and the organization and the people both leaders. Present, this was a very, very big event that was very successful. Are you listening? And I want to make comments on this. Make so the comment we want to have hear. the facts and people can also know how to factor this in their greater struggle because the Biafran struggle is a collective struggle. Now it's a collective struggle. You people are betrayers. Struggle. You people are betrayers. So our people must understand that a struggle for liberation yes. will have liberation politics. We must understand that this is how the world works. Are you listening? For these two leaders who met in Finland, it was very important. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I want you people to understand when I started this broadcast, I told you people, Oko Wade, some of you that are feeling pain, that uh, those people that we make alliance with, our leader now is in prison, in DSS dungeon. They abandon us. You don't have to worry yourself. This is how this life is. This is how this life is. That is why you see when you people are talking about it, I told you people forget about this guy. Not everybody will support your struggle. There are some people that are coming to destroy. And that is the way. Just go and look about the, 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 the restoration of Israel. Where they are. Not everybody supported them. Okay? So that is how it is. Now the Abazonia now, the show Ayaba and the Capo Janel, they now find their safer landing. Probably they have been telling the Mazen Namdekano all these things to work to go into armed struggle. But Mazen Namdekano being a man that have his own people in his heart, he don't want them to be killed like the way they were killed in 1967 to 1970. He want to create awareness because that is the reason why we lost the war. Nobody talk about us nobody knows about us and we want to do it in this time around to be in case if i'm struggle is only mixed to go by that time the world have understand who we are but they said no mazen nam they can they want him to be to finish in jail to die there so that simon Eba can take his position we are here little did you people know we are here we are not going anywhere let us continue listening I want to get to some point before I will stop it and uh, begin to tell you people the men's on the ground. I want you people to tell me now, waiting this man, they talk now. That is telling you people that Simon Ebana is a leader. Is this man going to tell us more about the men's on the ground? That we are they was working with Simon Ebana and today they they have came out begin to tell the world that this man you are calling simon Eber is a criminal is a double agent why some people in abazonia are those are telling us now that Ebrima is working good you know that is something i don't you are in your place telling us in our land that this person we are telling you that this person is a criminal you are now telling us that it's not a criminal and we are not from the same place you see the problem of black people this is the problem of this is their back you know dark ages that is the problem of our people you are in abazonia telling us what is happening in our land i'm going to bring a voice note every one of you know this is a commander this man is a commander that simon ever have you know deceived but he later come back begin to tell the world and i want you people to tag capo daniel and the show ayaba to come and tell me that what this commander is talking about is he lying you are in your place telling us that uh Ibrima is doing well that mazin nankan should remain in dss there we should continue because none of you have lost your parent in this struggle after this man have suffered Ibrima that is living in finland i don't know over 30 years that he never traveled ananda is the one that's going to give you behalf anarchy of story let us pay attention. In their leadership within the movement of Biafra for, for Simon Ipa yes. and for Amazonia <coughs> for Ayabacho Lucas, I'm going to get to that uh, very soon. Get there, and get I want there. to also highlight the backdrop to which this meeting is taking place. Okay, tell you us. know very well there are two major, I can say the two major in terms of personality face of the liberation of Biafra and the face of the liberation of the Ambazonian struggle. Siseko Ayoktabi 
and Martin Namdi you see now remains the irreplaceable leaders in the heart because he wants Martin Namdi to remain in prison and both territories and they are highly regarded they are highly respected yes and that is the reason why Martin Namdi Kanu eh? was kidnapped yes in collaboration between the Nigerian government and the Kenyan authorities and was sent into prison in, in Nigeria while Sisiko Ayoktabi was also uh, kidnapped in Are you people seeing what these people are playing? And, uh, sent, and sent to prison in Cameroon. The main reason why these two leaders were being targeted was because of their ability to bring together the people of their territory for a common cause. These are the two most biggest respected leaders for the cause of the Biafran people and the cause for the Amazonian people and these are indisputable and this will remain and they are irreplaceable. And nevertheless, our people have to understand that within the people's right, everybody in every territory have the right to constitute a team and represent the aspiration of their people and fight for their people's rights based on their own political calculation. And that is exactly what is happening. In the Biafran movement, Simon Ipa, who have been slow, but have steadily emerged as the most prominent as the most Biafran leader right now. I, I that is see. in charge of the highest forces in Biafra. I have also had a lot of conversation with many factions in the Biafran movement. Who are the factions? Who are the factions? Who are you? Have you met? How many majority of the Biafran. You see, you uh, are you now seeing the propaganda? You know, sometimes I remember that was last two years when Mazen Namikan was out here with us. Some people will be telling you we have different factions of, uh, you know, freedom fighters in Biafra land. I have been in this struggle for many years. I never seen none, none apart from Ralph Wazurike. I never seen none. Any faction you are hearing is is ghost. You don't see anybody. You don't know anybody. Apart from Wazurike, nobody else. But you will be hearing different names. But you can't see them. They are only, you know, ghosts. This is what this man is telling us. When did he travel to Biafran land to know how many factions we have in Biafran land? When? When did he know? When did he travel there? But he's coming here now to lie to you all. You understand? I want to get more community who have invited me to come and advise them and have also advised most of the Biafran leaders. The alliance between Ambazonia yes. and Biafra yes. was established officially by Mazi Namdekanu and Dr. Cho Lucas Ayaba. Their two organizations initiated this alliance which have brought both people together. The way this thing works is that it takes a life of its own. The initiation of that alliance, that vision for our people to come together was very crucial for our liberation. It is very controversial. It is a double-edged sword because it can work both ways. It can either destroy Ambazonia or Biafra or it can uplift both nations and it's their aspiration to become it's not going independent to destroy. You may destroy Ambazonia, not Biafra. how it is managed and how it is propagated. Because this is a big propaganda tool, it's a good, big psychological tool in the mindset of the international community, the mindset of the Nigerian government, and the mindset of the Cameroon government. Our greatest advantage is to use this alliance to mobilize troops from both sides to be able to hold the Gulf of Guinea as a stake or as a leverage to the international communities to understand that there will be no business in Biafran resources and Ambazonian resources guaranteed by Cameroon and Nigeria without the indigenous people of Biafra and the indigenous people of Ambazonia having a greater say in how things are run financially and how their own people are governed and the respect of the right of self-determination of both people. So that said, these two leaders who have gathered have a lot of enemies for Simon Ipa some Nigerians, some Biafran people have already concluded that he is working for the Nigerian government and there is no way you can change their mind. It is very toxic. It's true. And this is the biggest problem we have in Africa. Yes. Where when you disagree with somebody, 
you just conclude that that person is working for the enemy. That is not true. I have worked with uh, Simon Ipa. He had a very big plan for Biafra this year, and they had 1,000 troops that were supposed to go through a specialized training that I was particularly involved in the consultation and some of the planning of those issues. Uh, funds were raised and he really worked very hard. But I can assure you that those programs were scrapped. They were not effective because of sabotage of other Biafran. Okay, okay. <clears throat> now you see that Capo Daniel told you people, Simon M, I want to organize 1,000 men so that he can train them. Are you now understanding the people that are giving a bit of the script that is going to play? Are you now believing that those people you saw, that uh, 12 people you saw, they are Abazonian people? Do you now understand it? Do you now believe it? That these people, they just brought them. They just import them from Abazonia to come and parade themselves. Do you believe it now or not? Do you see now people that are backing Simon Ibirima? Do you see now Capo Daniel is telling us that uh, he's from Abazonia. Now he's telling us that Simon Eber, he have worked with him. The same man that told me before that Simon Eber was coming through backyard. And he knows who are the leadership. This is what this man told me. But now they are speaking with the both side of their mouth. That is why I told you people. There is something I love Mazi, about Mazi Jonathan. He will tell you, grab it. It does not matter. Don't make their enemy to be your enemy. Don't make them. No. Don't even go there at all. Go there and speak for yourself. Go there and negotiate and grab what you want. Grab your own. Forget about what people are talking. That is exactly what these people are doing now. Mazen Namdekan is not in the picture. And now they feel like now they can use Simon Eber to enter. Because these people, they are just looking for money. Now, let me play this voice note of one of the, a man that worked with Simon Eber. A man that worked with Simon Eber. And he's a commander. He's going to call his name. And I want you people to tag Sho Ayaba. Then, when Sho Ayaba will hear the voice of this man, I want now to ask Sho Ayaba, how do you now come in conclusion by telling us that you have worked with Simon and Simon Eber is the best? You know, he's trying to tell us that uh, now that we have said that Simon Eber is working with the zoo, Sho Ayaba, uh, Capo Daniel now is telling us it's a lie. Are you seeing? It seems, you see all this game they are playing. This game they want to use us to play. We are going to now begin to bring some freedom fighters from Abazonia. Those that have said that these people are criminal. We are going to bring them. As they want to destroy Mazen Nandekanu, we will destroy them. Too. There is no two ways about it. Now they are, they, are, they are flying their propaganda. We are going to bring some freedom fighters from Abazonia because in Abazonia they have different factions they have four four of them in Biafra land there is nothing like that apart from this thing that Ibrima is doing now trying to create their, his own and they are supporting him to create his own use Mazen Namdekano swear to get his own by the time that Mazen Namdekano will come out he will get his own this is how they get their own in Abazonia these people are not the first people that have started freedom fighting in Abazonia okay and they are telling us now that Ibirima is doing well. Listen to me. I'm making this thing clear. If you like, you listen. If you like, you, you, you forget about it. Simon Eba is a scripted person. He said, Ibirima, I'm asking you, why the guy, why is it it's only our people are dying? Why can't Ibirima go to Lagos? Why can't Ibirima go to Abuja and begin to deal with these people? Why can't even Ibirima deal with those politicians? representatives that are putting us in trouble why he don't deal with them why is it the common citizen that the people that you telling them to sit at home in this pro in this short video show ayaba was the one that is telling them i'll be waiting for the name capo daniel said that he's the one that told someone eh, to implement you know these people came to the leadership 
They came to Mazichi, the dossier, all of them, Mazichi, Nas and Woru, them, Mazo, former, them, all of them, our coordinator of all coordinators, they came to them. Tell them to take care, to begin to go on armed struggle. They told them no. They have killed many of our people. We can't go, arms, we can never involve in armed struggle. When we are involved in armed struggle, they are going to murder a lot of our people. Because this is what the Fulanis are looking for. To just find their way to enter our land. To invade our land. Mazin Namdekan understood this thing from the day one. That is why you don't want to give them that space. That is why Mazin Namdekan opened the Eastern Security Network. He called them vigilante. He, you want to tell me that Mazin Namdekan cannot call these people army? Are they not enough to become army? Do you see how many they are? But he told you they are vigilante. So that we are not going to go against the community or international community. Because when you call them army, you have no base. You have no country of your own. There is no territory you are controlling. And you are telling people you have army. That means that you are you, are, you know you are opening a door for them to come and invade your land. That is Mazin and that is why Mazin Nand can call them a vigilante. Now they tell it Bilima, to turn them, to turn some people, call them army. What is happening in our land today? They are they have come to our land, invading, killing our people, now innocent people. And some of you are saying, right on. Okay, you will touch every one of you. Okay, but hey, you must touch every one of you. Now, I want you people to tag Capo Daniel. We are going to listen to one of the commander that worked with Simon Eber. But as he realized that this thing is not working, he came out and he keep on, you know, I, I told this guy that I'm not going to forgive, but this guy is doing a lot of work. He came out now, begin to voice out. Now I want us to listen to this voice and make sure you send it to Capo Daniel so that you will listen. Let us go. Let us go. They are telling us that uh, you people are joking with us. See it here. We are going to listen to it now. Okay. Let us go. Let us go. Let us go. Now I want you people to butuzo. I will also show on a butuzo own. Because all of them have taken up for fault. Now pay attention. Okay, Mazi, uh, Kelengi, and the Manja Mone Kelemon. They won't be woman, and they won't Mazi Kebona. Eh, Mazi Catapilla, you go. Are you listening, Catapilla? Eh, only Jaffi and Emma Caricachop. Catapilla? No more even me. Because I am a mistake by EJ Walk with the Berima. The Berima. But in life, to go to Kabia Mane, may you fear, well, now we wrote to be a mother. But to avoid it, I want to go to Kabia Mane, may something because I'm not going to have a master plan because I'm going to raise no Jamaica and hope I will tell you. Yes, that's what I'm saying. Because I'm going to check all those people who work with Simon. I'm going to go to the hospital to go to the hospital. Let us carry this thing, let us talk, tell our people the truth. Let us tell our people the truth. When you say I don't want them to hear my voice, I will, what are we alive to? Are we going to be alive and seeing our people dying? Are you listening? It's not the life we are at is not important. The sacrifice we give Biafra is not completed. We give Biafra our life to protect them. We need to pro we, we need to voice out to tell people what is going on. We know that our leaders need the truth. Yes. And though Simon confused us about China Samoru, are you listening? Go to the US, but no. Simon eh, but get them confused about Mazichi Kedosia and DOS. I want you to tag Capo Daniel and uh, show Ayaba that are telling us that Simon Eba eh, is, uh, is correct. But the people that have worked with Simon Eba, eh, they have left him. Come out now, begin to tell our people what we saw is not what we are expected is not what we are seeing and we have to go away from this guy he will lead them into hellfire 
That is why Caterpillar left. Said no. And he said he's going to tell the world. And that is exactly what he's doing today. Okay, Capo Daniel Lubiana and I why that he have worked with Simon that uh, everything that he's doing is true. But the mains on the ground, the people that Simon ever is using are telling you that this guy is nobody. You from another place, another country, come to tell us that we should embrace him. Listen to me. I you see this propaganda that you people started. We are going to do it to the end. I'm going to begin to bring up Azonia people. Those people that you have deal you are dealing with them, I'm going to bring them. And they are going to deal with you people. We are, we, are, we are in. We have the numbers. Biafran people have the numbers. We are more than 80 million people. If we can be able to get only 5 million, we have covered the whole of your nonsensical. Only 5 million. We have covered them. That is why you see, whenever I'm telling you people that numbers matters, yes numbers matters all these uh, 11 people or two people that saying water water is nothing some people will be telling you hey eh, it's not about number eh, my friend is about number when you are talking about arm struggle when you are talking about gorilla welfare it's all about numbers numbers matters if you don't know i'm telling you numbers matters you are only 11 people that place where you are when they just drop something all of you will just find it who are they now let us listen contact Shuayaba. now we are really know that all the whole things the man told us is very lie it's a very lie let us tell ourselves the truth let, let us push on to ask general samuro forgiveness he will forgive because you because they are france they will forgive us. I told some peoples, even my brother Shadow. Yes. I told them all these things. Shadow and his energies. Now, those people that kill Shadow, they have killed. They are looking for my life. Are you seeing my family? I move my family away from the where they are because some of them know they are my family. This is the people that now work with Simon. In risk. But I can never stop exposing these people. Keep on exposing them. This voice is not wanting to go to my brother, my lovely brother, Awa Oga, Shinasan Wuru. Please let them forgive. Let them listen very well. My voice knows they will understand where I'm going to. I'm praising them because they know I know that they are Biafrans. They have forgiveness in their mind. But I promise China Samuro, if China Samuro listen to me, forgive me. I am going to vie with my life, all these people. Let her guide, let China Samuro, we are going to bring men to track these people. We are going to get them. We are going to know where they are. If we don't have anything to use to fight them, but we are going to expose all of them so they can help us and fight them. They will tell us what to do. We are going to disguise ourselves because all of them don't know us because they are new recruitment, but we know them. Let us track these people and deal with them because they are destroying our land. In the name of IPOB, in the name of Eastern Security Network, please. Let this voice not reach to Marzin. Marzin, I won't have listened. Where is it? Have you finished? Please, thank you. The voice note that you just listened now is a man called Caterpillar. He is a commander. This is one of those men that Simon Epa is using on the ground. This man that is begging Marzin Shinas and now. The man that is asking Mazishina Sanwuru to forgive him at the same time now is calling Mazishina Sanwuru his ogre because he knows that Mazishina Sanwuru is the one in charge there is no two ways about it that is why I want you people to make sure that you tag Chua Ayaba for him to know those people that have worked with Simon Eber 
You people have, haven't, I hope you people haven't forgotten about Omo Akata. Bridget Okafor is nowhere to be found today. He have war with this Eberima. Eberima have used her and dump her. Madam Oyibo, 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 Madam Oyibo, the one that watered her ground. The one that started this manipulation by bringing audio money, call 100,000. We did not see the money. Go and ask Onye Ndu Mazen Namkano. This money is not there. They just told Onye Ndu, just announce it. It's okay. We you know you said that, he, you know, if Omoada joined the struggle, uh, we are going to. They tell Onye Ndu, just announce it. Because Onye Ndu so much love our women. He so much love them. Onye Ndu, the first Onye Ndu, Onye Ndu came out and announced something that is audio, audio. Audio money, nothing like that. Where is Oyibo today? Nowhere to be found. Ndidi Amaka and the one they call uh, Rosemary, Simon never used them. They are those people that gave Keafia a lawyer Jimako $20,000 through Simon Eba. Simon Eba came, he used them. They are now gone. I'm just counting it for you people so you will know. If this guy is a real person that is working towards Biafran Restoration Project, why is he having a problem with anybody that come around him? Or those people that, that projected him to be in this, where he is today, as a criminal, he have already abandoned them. Now, we come to Rabbi Shaz. Rabbi Shaz that told Eberima to go to South Africa and buy Ikech Kuonoha. He told them, go there, go and buy them. At the end, they bought Ikech Kuonoha. He worked for them. He said that these people there, you see those people on Radio Biafra, like somebody like he, they are just shouting, go there and pay them, they will, they will just abandon the, the, the radio. And it happens. They get them, they, they abandon it. Where is Rabbi Shaz today? Nowhere to be found. Are you counting them in Aguko Fono? I hope you are counting them with me. We now come to Nelo Febu, right? Where is Nelo Febu today? You see, Simon Eba, you know, I don't know how you people are seeing this guy. Nelo Febu now that helped Simon Eba so well. You know, he put him, he do this, he do. Where is Nelo Febu today? nowhere to be found i'm coming to show you the latest video of the people that simon Eba is telling to go and begin to snatch cars simon Eba is telling them where they are going to go and do juju that is why i'm telling you you see all these juju you people are carrying on your waist it will never work and whenever you do juju because of gun or the, when they shoot you you will not enter that gun that that man used on you there is nothing like a it's just a Kiana we and see away. There is no boys in that, that that thing that that man is shooting. You. Nothing. It's just boom like one And you think that they shot you. When you carry that nonsense, go outside. Police will hammer you. You you are go, your own is gone. That is why I'm telling you people. Is the you will see how ju, how this guy packed juju juju full his body, even though they ask him. So you have all this protection. But we enter you. That to show you, you see all those people that are doing juju for you, telling you it's working. That time they finish that juju, they want to test it on you. That thing they are shooting, there is nothing on it. Nothing. Just see a way. Boom. Nothing. Nothing is inside. Because of some of you that are stupid. Some of you that can't even reason. Going to juju man to make juju for you. That when they shoot me, it will not enter. Listen to me, that one a propaganda, that one a lie. If you do juju, tell the man, make you wear that, make you go bring gun from outside. You will see the man will never accept you to shoot him. That will show you there is nothing there. Are you understanding what I'm saying? Where is Kafia? Nelo Febu? Where is he do? Is Nelo Febu lying? Is Nelo Febu lying? He do is true. That is what Simon ever said. Nelo Febu is me and Nelo Febu. At the end, 
he bring the nakedness of Nelo Febu. And some of you show Ayaba and the couple that they are still there seeing this guy. They couldn't even ask him or God, but how can you do such a thing? You say you're a freedom fighter. How can you do such a thing? He's a double agent. I'm telling you people, there's no two ways about it. So if you see all these people that I mentioned and they are nowhere to be found today, ask yourself this question. The one they call living stone or dead stone, but there is a dead stone or an idiot to go broke. Dead stone and the one they call Prince in our course, and the one that they call Nashik or again, I don't know, Nashi, the one in America say we are a whole people that don't have secrets, people that can never keep secret. The man came out on public in public on social media, begin to tell people that he's one of those people that organize ESN. Now, tell me how this man can be able to, you know, keep secret. This is the kind of people that you will tell them where our, our what they call it, our transmitter is. Any day that you offend them, they will go and show this where the transmitter is. Who asked him? Nobody asked him because he was looking position. He now begin to tell you, very much, we are the people that set up ESN. Where, okay, after you set up ESN, after a use you people now, a Benima abandon every one of you. Uh, am I lying? He abandoned you. Uh, the one they call Livingstone. Are you people still listening to him? The answer is no. We are here, they came. And we are still going to remain here. You are not hearing them again because their own is gone. A Benima have overshadowed them. Because when they were putting gasoline into this otene, 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 keyana, they they don't reason. Ana kwa yoko o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o they have abandoned them. Their own is gone. Now, Omo Akata started. He have left Kekwafia, Nkana, or Amueba, Azoka. He was. He have abandoned Azoka. The same Azoka is the one that questioning Mazishike, Dozemo, Ona, Ona, Ati Galadima, asking a lot of questions, asking stupid questions. Telling us that, uh, telling them the reason why they break out is because of Madame Finance don't want to do this, Madame Finance don't want to do that. But when Azul cannot get to the, the same position of uh, Madame Finance, he also who, who, who hook the money. She don't want to lose any money. That is why they sanction some people. They remove from some people. You know, I want you people to begin to understand what is playing. Some of you that are lack ability to reason. I want you people to make sure that this video gets Capo Daniel so he will understand within the commander they talk. Now, I want to show you people the criminals that Simon ever sent. And uh, you will know those people that are causing havoc in our land. And I want you people to tag Capo Daniel that just came out, begin to say things that you don't know. Begin to say things that he don't know. He thinks that we are coming here to joke. We are not joking. We ask, they want to destroy the plan and what Mazen Nam can have built. We are going to help them to destroy their own too. We are going to go to... I have a lot of people. You know, there is a time that even though I met a, an, 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 a... What they call it? A guy from Abazonia, from Cameroon. He's also an Abazonia guy. The, that is by then... And I was protecting these people. The guy wanted to tell me a lot of things, telling me that these people are they are criminals. This is what I told him. What what do you mean by criminal? Are you mad? People that we have alliance with. You know, I'm trying to protect them because we have something. You know that we have. Uh, you know we have some things in common. I don't know that. Now they have. They are going to stab Mazen Namdikan. Now let me show you people the video. So that you will see. Makana atu now. You don't know. See the video. You will hear now. You will hear when they are calling their name. 
Who send you people? Eberima. Eberima send them. Eberima send them. Get the video about. Let me bring the video. I have the video here. I must find it. It must be here. The video must be here. The video must be here. I um the video must be here. Um the video. Yes. Yes. I want to I think I'm going to bring it through my from my Twitter. And let me bring it from my Twitter. For my Uh, then I will, after then I will show you the last one of, uh, show I have. I want you people to pay attention. Just hold on. Let me bring the video. So that you will not be like I'm lying to you people. You will see them now. Who send them? Who send them? Who are they working for? Who are they Who are they working for? Who are they working for? You, I hope you people remember when Simon Ibrima told you people, Butoso, go to Butoso camp, make you people take another oath. I hope you people haven't forgotten. You are going to hear it now. And you will tell me who these people are working for. Deary, deary. Okay. Let us see. Let us see. Let us see it. Butos, they're not here. We don't lie now. Are we lying? The answer is no. They're not here. A criminal, Onyoshi. A criminal, Onyoshi. Or you're against it. Are you seeing Juju? Are you seeing full of Juju? Are you seeing Juju? How can I make this intro that you people can see the Juju? Now, why this light is too dark? Is he Juju? Full of his body. Carry with him. Carry with him. Who said it? 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 Who Yes. Between now and next week. Yes. Out of every commander, every, every commander here <laughs> to report to your camp for a renewal of vow. <laughs> and I like it. Okay, for me. Yes. From now to next week, yes. Even though the guy, even though everybody did not get the code. Logistics. Make sure you put logistics and uh, and uh, and make sure everybody but them don't have any problem. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, how can he have a complaint? You see now, this is the people that Simon Eba is sending to go and snatch cars. They have uh, caught one of them. Who sent them? Butoso. Is their ogre? And who Butuzo is working for? Eberima. Are you not seeing it? I want you people to send this video to uh, Capo Daniel. Great people and freedom fighters. I thank you all for listening. We are going to continue. We are not going to stop. And some of you that are going to watch this video later. Make sure you tag 
show Ayaba. Make sure you tag uh, Capo Daniel so that they will understand because they don't know what is going on. We are Biafrans. We are the owners of the land. So we know what is going on in our land more than them. I can't be telling them what is happening in Abazonia more than, more than them to me. So when we tell them something, they should listen. They want us to abandon the Mazen Namdekan. Now they are using the Mazen Namdekan to their leader. That now our leader is inside, their leader is inside, we should forget about them and be carry on. Chukuga on on Chani Noko. We can never, without Mazen Namdekan, we are going nowhere. I'm saying it to you people. Without Onyendu, we are going nowhere. And everything that we are doing, Mazen Namdekan have to be there. If you think, oh, you people should go and use it, very man. If you think you make when I begin to import people from Abazonia, begin to parade in our land. And we are going to, you know, I'm going to make very, I mean, more research on that place they did that video to know if it's in Abazonia because they can make that video. You know, say we and Abazonia, we have different, everything is almost the same. The same life. So we are going to look deeply to know where they, they make that nonsense they did. So I thank you all for listening. Great people. And we are not going to stop. Like I said, I will keep on explaining without stopping. I will keep on explaining so that you people will understand. And we will keep on telling people, telling the world that Mazen Namdekano is not involved in all this their criminality. Are you understanding what I'm saying? Mazen Namdekano is not involved. That is why we will keep on vindicating him. So go and tell Shuayaba and his group. You see all this problem they want to cause in our land. We are going to help them also. We have what it takes. When you are talking numbers, we have numbers. When we want to contribute, we have numbers. If we want to do something, we have numbers. I want them to know we have numbers. The people that came to Musta, we contributed money. I also donated for them. To help them. To help them. We went to Belgium. How many of them are in Belgium? How many of them? I am not a cover. 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 And you people want us to abandon him. Because he is in prison. In DSA we should forget about him. And move on. And move on. And begin to destroy our land. So that our leader will never come out. That is what you people are talking about. We have been going to court. In the same court, we secure the free of Mazen Namdekan. The same court of Omoaya, we won. Court of Appeal, we won. All the whole court of Mazen, we won. Are you people going to court? The answer is no. You people are telling us that uh, there is no justice in Nigeria. Yes, we know. We know it quite right. But we want to go according. So that when we, we start that thing, the world can never be against us. Because you know what? We have the number. We have the money. We can contribute. Now you understand. How did we be able to set up ESN? That oh, you, you see them. Ask yourself, can they mobilize such a people in Abazonia? Because this one uh, carry his own. This one carry his own. This one carry his own. We are one people. And we have what it takes. And the Mazen Namdekano is the one that are going to champion this struggle till we restore Biafra. He say, none of you. And I'm telling you people, you see all these things these people are doing. If Mazen Namdekano come out, you see these people, they will turn around. But we have, you know, like I said, we are keeping the record. Everything, we are keeping it. Whenever it happens, we are going to bring it back. When Mazen Namdekan will come out, he will still, he should be in case they will begin to, you know, you know, trying to come closer to Mazen Namdekan. We are going to also present to Mazen Namdekan this video. Because we have come, we say we don't come. I thank you all for listening. From me, from here, I call it good afternoon. Till we see again. Remain blessed. As they remember Mazo Kenno Kichku, known as the Biafranchide Wachineke. The general. <laughs>